One night stand or pregnancy in dramas are becoming very popular because of these one night stand turned into a fatal love. Don't you just love those dramas where the storyline challenges us and keeps us at the edge of our seats? Thai dramas like these have great storylines and amazing actors and we as fans have no option but to be drawn in. Number 1 My husband in law Moe is a young girl who lived with her adoptive mother who was also her mother's friend since her biological mother passed away. Moe also has a crush on Thian who is the son of her adoptive mother. Although Moe loves him, Thian never seems to love Moe. Instead, he always teases her, messes with her and sometimes bullies her. Moe never got angry or responded to Thian when she got bullied because she loved him a way too much. One day, Thian was forced to marry Moe just to get rid of the wife of a powerful man. As Thian never looked at Moe as his life partner, he was not really okay with the marriage. In addition, Thian wanted a perfect woman as his wife, but Moe was never perfect in his eye. Will Thian fall in love with Moe at the end, or will Moe be the perfect wife for him? Number two, Kluyn Chibit. Girawat's brilliant actress with a painful past. She grew up with a grandmother because her mother remarried. When her mother was away on business, her stepfather always found an excuse and an opportunity to molest Ji. For this reason, Ji started to drink to relieve the suffering. Once when she was intoxicated while driving, she accidentally knocked Sathit's girlfriend and she died. Sathit hated Ji, and besides that, he misunderstood her as if she wants to separate his family pairs. So he decided to take revenge by destroying her reputation. Number 3, So Very. Two hotel moguls, once family friends, since the grandparents generation now sworn enemies, are fighting over who will reign supreme. Pranuth never thought that he would be a part of the hatred. Although his father is the son-in-law of Sri Mantra, his mom was only a mistress who was abandoned in America. Growing up, he never knew what having a father was like. Paramita is the only heiress to the famous emperor's real estate mogul. She was pulled into this warning game after being drugged and sent to him as ransom. 4 years later, she came back with twin children but told everyone that they were her cousins. Pranuth and Paramita met again but standing on opposite sides of the line as sworn enemies. Although they had the twins, not as chains of love but chains of enemies that tied them together unwillingly. Number 4 You are my destiny. Pavut is a successor to a large company. Vanita is a secretary in a law firm. They both go on the same cruise with Pavut planning to propose to KK, his girlfriend, and Vanita planning to losing her virginity to her boyfriend. However, Vanita ended up taking a cold medicine which made her drowsy and accidentally went to Pavut's hotel room while he was drugged. They spent the night together. 3 months later, Vanita finds out that she is pregnant. Number 5, Jao Sao Jung Yom. Mai Sarin is a famous socialite who is engaged to Sarut, but he left her on the day of the wedding. Kirtan is a 30-year-old real estate businessman who is waiting for pin money, his bride at the reception of a luxury hotel, but he saw her escape the wedding with another man. Kate walked out to the party at the beach where he met Mai, who was still in the wedding dress drinking alone. They started drinking together and people thought they were a couple so they went along with it and he jokingly proposed to her afterwards they went back to the hotel and spent the night together number 6 one night steal j is a girl that has luck all the time while not has a bad luck one night these two come across each other and their luck reverses j was unhappy about his settlement so she's planning to get her luck back number 7 lay rat tree Kate's father stole money from Sake's company and when he finds out he starts looking for Kate's father. However, Kate's father runs away. When they find him, he has to go to the hospital because of a heart condition. There, he decides to sell Kate to Sake to pay off his debts and because he knew Sake's family wanted an heir and would take care of Kate. Sake gradually begins to fall in love with Kate. Meanwhile, Sake's ex-wife Itsala doesn't believe Sake has moved on to Kate. and continuously chases after him number 8 lay loop salumran meet ramin 
and high profile police officer from a special unit. He is an egocentric playboy who looks down on women and Petra, an arrogant and ungrateful superstar who looks down on men and her co-workers. Sinfulness bring these two together to learn integrity, honesty and respect by swapping bodies. They face danger, difficulties and obstacles to gradually improve, share and care and find true love on this incredible journey. Number 9, Omrup Napath is a beautiful but headstrong young lady. Napath decides to stay back in Thailand and earn her way through modeling against her father's wishes. During Napath's first magazine photo shoot, she meets a fast-mouthed photographer, Chen, who predicts she will never be famous in the industry. Despite Chen's prediction, Napath turns out to be a huge success. Napath's lucky streak comes to a halt when she bumped into Chen for the second time. Due to a drinking competition during the party, both Chen and Napath get badly drunk and end up in bed together. It isn't long before Napath realizes that she is pregnant. Number 10, Far Far Rock. Tong Rak, a girl who struggles in life, agreed to be a surrogate mom for Prefa, a biological sister who has health issues. Prefa is in love with Natty, an ordinary musician who turns out to be the heir of the Asavaketul family, where they have enemies all around. Because of this, Prefa and Natty end up getting murdered, leaving Tong Rak a lonely pregnant woman with no job. Tong Rak wants to tell the Asavaketul family about their possible heir or heiress in the tummy, but Keman, a toy designer, stopped her from doing so because he thinks the reason for Prefa and Natty were killed is because the murderer wants to kill the heir. So, Tong Rak ends up being under the care of Keman. The two become close and develop feelings for each other unintentionally. Number 11. Saneha Sunia Kane Kin, the wealthy president of KTK Corporation, just married his longtime girlfriend of seven years, Ganok. A young lady named Tawan has just left the airport after finding out that her longtime fiance has been cheating on her and with another woman who is pregnant with him and is breaking off their engagement. Tawan has faithfully supported her fiancé financially and emotionally for years, only to find out that all along he has been using her. Tawan, hurt and heartbroken, walks home in the rain, but while crossing the street, is hit back by Ganok's car. In the aftermath of the incident, Tawan is hospitalized, but Ganok is pronounced dead. Devastated, Kin demands to know who caused his wife's car accident. When he discovers her identity, he vows to do everything in his power to exact revenge on Tawan for killing his bride. Tawan unwittingly falls right into his trap when she signs an employment contract with Kin. Will Kin ever be free from his anger and hurt? Or will his need for revenge drive both him and Tawan into greater tragedy? Number 12. The Sand Princess Kodnipa was an orphan girl who went into the city to pursue her education. There, she befriended Jirapath, a wealthy heir. Their friendship was based on a mutual benefit, with Jirapath paying her to do trivial things and Kodnipa accepting the money she needed by acting as his servant. Things got complicated when Jirapath impregnated a girl who Kodnipa knew and abandoned the baby in Kodnipa's house. Number 13. Sapai Import Lisa is a rich, spoiled girl who returned from her studies in England to find her parents were in death. She had to work to repay that debt, and Dawn's mother helped her. Dawn is the grandson of a very famous farm owner. When Dawn's grandfather died, he conditionally named Dawn as his successor. To receive the farm, Dawn had to marry and have a child within a year. Otherwise, the farm would be awarded to his cousin's brother. Dawn's mother loved Lisa like a daughter, so she pushed them towards marriage. At first, both of them rejected the marriage. Then, Dawn's mother announced that she was going to die soon, so Lisa accepted as a sign of gratitude. Since Dawn and Lisa don't love each other, they agreed to pretend to be married for six months. Despite their different lifestyles, nothing could stop destiny. Number 14. Zhao Sao Chang Yon Mina is a stubborn girl and a talented auto mechanic. Fufat is the heir of a company engaged in the production of auto parts. His father arranges a marriage between Fufat and Meena, in hope she will be able to heal his heart that was hurt in the past and return his interest in life. Everything seems to be going well, but suddenly his ex returns and Fufat's younger brother begins to show interest in Meena. Number 15. Teenage Mom
This story begins when Fa, a sixth year high school student, get pregnant. She decides to escape from everyone in her life, including her parents, friends, and her boyfriend, in order to find a way to deal with what has happened on her own. How will she handle the pressure of impending motherhood? Which dramas you find interesting? Please let us know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tada!